hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created the order and cart item entities in our spring boot application for the user cart and in today's video we will create the dashboard and related apis for the user so let's get started to create the apis for the customer dashboard First of all, we need to create a new folder here in the services package. And we need to name this package as customer. And in this package, we need to create the service. And let's name it as customer product service. And this should be an interface. And after this, we need to create another class here. And we need to name this class as customer product service implementation. And let's annotate this class as at the rate service. And the second annotation which we need is at the rate required augs constructor. Now let's go to admin product service implementation. And here we need to copy these two methods to get all products and to get all products by name. So let's copy them and let's paste here in this class. And after this we need to inject the product repository. And let's import this class. Now let's go to customer product service and mention these methods here and import the product DTO. After this, let's go to the controllers package and here we need to create an other package and we need to name this package as customer. And in this package, we need to create a new class and we need to name this class as customer product controller. We need to annotate this controller as at the rate rest controller. And after this, we need to add annotation for request mapping and we need to set the path as slash api slash customer after this we need to give annotation for required augs constructor and here we need to inject our customer product service now let's go to admin product controller and here we need to copy these two endpoints and we need to paste the code here in customer product controller and we need to change the admin product service to customer product service and here let's call the correct method which is search product by title now let's run our backend application as you can see we got one error which is consider defining a bean for our customer product service now let's go to our customer product service implementation and let's write the statement for implements and here we need to write customer product service and after this we need to rename this method as well now let's run our application again as you can see our backend application is up on port 8080 now let's go to the angular project and let's create the dashboard component for our customer in our angular application here we need to create a new folder and let's name this folder as services and now we need to open this folder in the integrated terminal and here we need to give the command to create the services which is ng g for generate as for service and let's name this service as customer now let's close this terminal now let's open our customer service.ts and here we can go to the admin service and we can copy the apis to get all products and get all products by name and after this, we need to inject the HTTP client. And we need to mention the path for our backend application. 
and after this we need to copy this create authorization header which we can get from here and we can paste here let's import these http headers and after this in the endpoints we need to replace the admin and we need to paste here the string which is customer now let's save this file after this let's go to the dashboard component.ts of our admin and here we need to copy all the methods and we need to leave the delete product and we need to paste this code here in the dashboard component of the customer let's import these and here instead of admin service we need to inject our customer service and we need to replace here now let's copy the HTML code and paste in the file of customer dashboard and let's copy the CSS code as well from the HTML code let's comment these buttons and let's save this file and let's save dashboard.component.ts as well after this we need to import the forms module directive forms module and HTTP client module in our customer.module.ts so we can copy this code as well and we can paste here and we can select here add all missing imports now let's save this file and let's write the command to run our application as you can see our application got compiled successfully now let's go to the browser and let's create another user i am giving the name as cs and email as cs at the rate gmail.com and let's give the password and confirm password and let's click on sign up as you can see we got the message sign up successful now let's add the details for the login As you can see after the login we got redirected to the dashboard now let's add the button here to add the item in the cart in this dashboard component we need to replace the code of existing buttons and we need to add another button and on the click we need to call a method which is add to cart and in the params we need to pass product.id let's copy the name of the method and let's write the method here and let's save this file and save dashboard.component.html file as well and as you can see we got the button to add the product in the cart that's it uh, for this video. In the next video, we will create add item in cart API in our backend. And we will call this API from our frontend application.